Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our first set of lectures for Bio 153. We have been talking about homeostasis. So remember, we first talked about homeostasis, what it is and what a set point is. And then we went on to talk about homeostatic mechanisms, different ways that we go about maintaining, maintaining a homeostasis. Um, so in the last video, you heard about local versus reflex control. Now we're going to move on to this topic of tonic versus antagonistic control. Okay, and the question that we're going to be answering in this video is what is the difference between tonic and antagonistic control? All right. Okay, so <clears throat> First of all, um, I just wanted to start off with this diagram right here. Um, and I want to just start with this question. Is this a local or a reflex pathway? So go ahead and hit your pause button um, and answer that question. Okay, so. Um, so hopefully you have answered the question. Um, we'll talk about that in class, okay? Um, tonic versus antagonistic control has to do with what happens here, um, basically at, at the target. Like how do we go about achieving the di desired response at the target? So you might remember uh, we were looking at local versus reflex control. That had to do with kind of what this whole loop looked like, right? Tonic versus antagonistic control has to do with what happens at the very end, okay? Um, and it reflects the number of efferent or output signals working on the target or the effector, okay? So let's take a look at tonic control, okay? So basically what happens in tonic control is that the response that we get from our target is determined by one output signal, okay? So you can kind of think of this as sort of like the gas pedal in your car, right? You hit the gas pedal harder, you press on it harder, and that makes your car go faster. You let up on it, and that makes your car go slower, okay? So basically that one output signal is gonna adjust up or down to give you a stronger or a weaker response at your target. Okay, so let's take a look at this example uh, from the body. Okay, so um, what we have going on here is we have a neuron uh, controlling the level of muscle contraction in the wall of this blood vessel. Okay, and the neuron, as you will learn in a couple weeks, neurons send these electrical signals called action potentials. Okay, so it's this neuron is sending signals at a particular rate, okay? And that is telling this blood vessel wall to maintain a certain level of contraction, okay? Now, what happens when we change this rate, okay? So if we increase the rate at which this neuron is firing its action potentials, firing its electrical signals, that is going to tell that blood vessel to constrict, okay? So it gets smaller, okay? If we then decrease the rate at which we fire these electrical signals, that's going to tell the blood vessel to constrict less, basically, okay? So that's going to cause the blood vessel to then open up, okay? So again, we are adjusting that output signal up or down to control the response at our target, right? Um, oops. Okay, so basically I've already said this, in tonic control the output signal adjusts up or down to create different responses. 